and the custom owners try on some jeans in our changing room, which is right here. So yeah, fine mate, go, you know, help yourself. Um, he had his kid with him. He's left, basically 10 minutes later, I've come out to sort something out at the back. And he's used the fucking toilet. I know he's used the toilet because he's left the door open, he's left the light on, and he's got a new toilet roll out. Make yourself at home, mate. Just picked all the orders and the amount of orders going up today, it's crazy. Yes, you lovely lot, we've got another video today doing a bit of a uh, charity shop hunt slash day in the life sort of thing. I haven't got much time. Uh, it's currently 25 past nine and I need to be done by... Shit, I don't have much time at all. Anyway, yeah, I've probably got about 20... No, a bit longer than that. Probably 40 minutes to run around the charity shops. Uh, so I'm going to nip into the town now and do that. See what we can find, see if we... Uh, and get some cool stuff uh, and then later on uh, i'm opening up my shop and i'll show you a bits and bobs in there and we've got some listing to do and then obviously we've got some packaging to do for sales that are going out so it's going to be a busy one but yeah we've got to crack on and hopefully find some good stuff Bloody hell, that's that done. Um, like I said, it was only about 45 minutes. I only managed to get two done, uh, which isn't ideal. We picked up a few bits, so it's probably worth it. But um, yeah, I actually got told off in the first, I actually got told off in the first charity shop. Um, the lady goes, are you filming our stock? No, no, I promise. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I had to uh, stop filming at that point, but. But yeah, I don't know why it matters. I was only filming the bits I was picking up, but um, but yeah, I guess it's policy or whatever. I don't know. You don't get on with it. But yeah, I don't see a problem with it as long as you're buying it. If I was just went in there filming all of it, I get it. But um, but yeah, a bit odd. But anyway, all done. I'll take the stock home and I'll I'll show you what we got and what I expect to get for it. Right, we're back home. Let's run through what we got. Uh, first up, I got this next. Wouldn't usually pick up next, but uh, yeah, we got a next button up shirt it's pretty cool like a summery hawaiian style shirt with like vans on it little cars really cool shirt uh three quid i think i'm not sure how much i'll get for it but i thought i'd take a chance on it um i'm not sure if there'll be loads of money in it but i'll probably get at least a tenner for it next up um probably one of the better pickups of the day are these lee lee chinos pretty cool they were a fiver again quite expensive I'm not really, I don't really like charity shops, I'll be honest. I don't get on with them very well. Like, like, are they still worth it? I don't know. Some are, some aren't. Some just charge you extortionate amounts. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. I still I still obviously go to them, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure if they're worth it anymore. Uh, they take a long time. Like, what was I there? I was probably in that, doing it for like 45 minutes and I picked up like six or seven items. It's like, mm, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, whereas like a car boot sale, you pick up shit loads in an hour, don't you? So, so yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one, but yeah, I'm still going to keep going to them because it's stock at the end of the day and you know what I mean? There's still a bit of money in it. So next up, this is the first charity shop. This is the charity shop I got told off in. Um, got this, this shirt, striped shirt, Lacoste, pretty cool. Um, this is probably the better charity shop out of the two, to be fair. Uh, uh, yeah, £3.50 there. Yeah, £3.50. Can't go wrong. Definitely make a few quid on that. I'm not sure on the exact price. Um, but yeah, Lacoste is a good brand. I know I would make at least a few quid on that. Next up, last but not, no, not last but not least. We've got a couple more bits in there. Um, paid £5 for it. Get the price out of the way to start with. £5, some blazer. Pretty standard. Um, I did look it up in the shop. The brand. The brand is Bugatti. What colour is your Bugatti? You can. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I bought, I, I bought a Bugatti from a charity shop. Do you know what I mean? So it only cost me five pounds. You know what I mean? Not five point two million. You big bigger. <laughs> right. Um, next up, you got another sort of blazer. This one is 
pretty cool color, sort of a red burgundy sort of thing with the blue lining, pretty nice. Again, there's a fiver. Uh, where's the thing? That's the brand there. Pretty cool. I did look it up. Um, I looked both of these up. The Bugatti one was was actually looked to be worth quite a lot, like 40 quid or something. And this one a little less, but um, but yeah, quite a nice profit. Again, I'm not sure if they'll sell fast or, or what have you. I think the orange one's got probably got more chance of selling a bit quicker because it's a bit unique. Um, but yeah, can't go wrong again for a five end for like 40 quid. It's, it's quite nice. And this was the last piece. Um, again, I'm not sure if there'll be much in this one, profit-wise. Laura Ashley, quite a popular brand. Little like cropped cardigan, quite nice. But yeah, nothing crazy. Probably only a few quid profit. But yeah, that's that's what I mean. What did I pick up there? Like six items in an hour, six items in 45 minutes. Plus I paid the park. It's like I don't know. It's it's a difficult one. I'm not sure if they're worth it. Let me know if you think they're worth it. I'm not sure. Um, Sometimes you get lucky, but majority of the time you don't. So I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, time is obviously money. Um, especially when you like car boot is tomorrow. I'll be going to a car boot. I'd rather just go to car boots to be honest. But, um, but yeah, obviously that's not ideal. You need to be able to do both. So I'm not sure though. Uh, I do try and avoid. It's not something I do regularly. I don't regularly go to a charity shop to look. Just don't see the point. I don't see that there's a massive amount of profit. But yeah, every time I go and make a little bit, but it's um yeah, it's not I wouldn't rely on it to run the whole business out of charity shops. I don't I don't think that's a good business model, but let me know what you think. Some time has passed and I just wanted to bring out the camera because I'm out in the shop and the customer wanted to try on some jeans in our changing room, which is right here. So yeah, fine mate, go you know, help yourself. Um he had his kid with him. He's left, basically, 10 minutes later, I've come out to sort something out at the back. And he's used the fucking toilet. I know he's used the toilet, because he's left the door open, he's left the light on, and he's got a new toilet roll out. Make yourself at home, mate. Fucking hell, he didn't buy the jeans either, so thanks for that. But anyway, now I'm done slagging my customers off. Um, I've just finished up another box of listings. Uh, got through a little bit today. But now I've got to pick the orders that are going on Monday and package them up. So let's get into that now. Right, so I've just written out a bit of a list. Uh, that there, that is all the SKU numbers that have sold, basically. Um, that's a, I've done it a really long way around, basically, because I want to record myself getting picking the orders. It's a bit sad, and it's just taken me like three or four minutes to do that, which is a bit of a waste of time. But anyway, um, this is what happens when you want to make shit content good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying, all right? I'm trying. But yeah. That's all the orders going out, uh, so now I've got to pick them and then package them and we'll go for a little bit of uh, of, of what's actually sold because I've got a really cool order. I wanted to, I made a couple uh, a little video um, two or three days ago uh, explaining how someone had like took interest basically in these ties that I was selling. I've got loads of ties um, and yeah he took interest and wanted to, um, to actually buy them and I was a little bit skeptical because it was like 150 quids worth of ties plus like 100 quids postage basically he bought them <laughs> um, but not for the full price I did give him a discount on the postage obviously um, but yeah really happy with that I'll go through that in a sec with you guys once I've picked everything Just picked all the orders and the amount of orders going up today, it's crazy. This is the whole box, that box is full. And there's some that's spilling out. As you can see, it's absolutely crazy. Um, so now I've got to try and pack, find a way to package all of that. That's not his old, that's pretty much that one guy's order, um, which is really cool. He's got some DVDs he's bought for me as well that I need to go and find. But yeah, that's the main bulk of it. I am not entirely sure how's best to package this. I don't know whether not to do it in a poly bag or just put it in a big box. Um, but yeah, I'll come to that when it when it comes to it. But I'm thinking a box might be a little bit better actually. There we go. That's the selection of his movies there. All pretty good movies to be honest. Watched that the other day. Well, a few weeks ago. It was actually quality. So the tie order going out was 41 bundles of five ties. Blimey, I don't know what he's doing with them. I did ask him if he was uh, buying them to resell just out of like curiosity because there is mo a lot of money to be made if he did, was going to do that, but he said it wasn't, so I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> Unless he just said it to sort of like 
he didn't want me to be upset at the fact he was reselling them, which I would never be. Um, but yeah, maybe that's what he was thinking. I actually put them on there as if someone was going to buy them to resell them anyway. So I don't know, but, but I think that's what he's going to do with them. I'm not entirely sure. He wouldn't tell me um, that that was like, he didn't say that's what he was doing, but that's what I presume he's doing. But yeah, I'm not sure what else you would do with, do with that many ties. But yeah, just let him get on with it. <laughs> um, I've opted for the box. Got the box ready to go there. Um, hopefully they all fit in there. They should do. And hopefully it doesn't weigh too much. If it weighs more than 10 kilos, I'll have to split it, split it into two orders, which would be annoying. But, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Let's get packaging though. This is really stingy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the Ziploc bags because I've just realized giving them like 40 Ziploc bags, which adds up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take them all out basically. Um, it's a bit stingy and it's gonna be time consuming, but it's gonna save me a few quid. So is it worth it? I'm trying to think, just trying to think if it's actually worth it or not. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it because it's gonna save me a lot, of, uh, a lot of time and effort and chances are I'll throw them away the other end, which is a waste of plastic. So I'll get a big zip, uh, a bigger Ziploc bag or I might just get a big poly bag mailer and um, put them all in one go, then put them in a box. I think that'll be a better way of doing it. We have managed to fill up three big poly bags. We've got three little bags in there and these trousers going out. So yeah, pretty crazy. Three big bags. Um, looks like it's going to have to be two bags in there, uh, two bags in that box and then one sent separately, which is fine. It is what it is. Um, and then I'll just put these three, three in the trial, three packs and the trousers in uh, like loose in the box that'd be fine um yeah the reason why i put them in bags and just chuck the tie straight in is because so many times i'll i'll get something delivered from wherever it be amazon uh, anywhere ebay anything like that um and it'll they'll the postman will just leave it behind the bin or something like that and it gets piss wet through so imagine that with just in the ties or any sort of clothes in a box get soaking you you get it it's arrived and it's fucking wet you'd be like oh. especially when you spent good money on it so that's why i always put something in a wrapper uh usually double bag stuff um because you know you want your customers to have a good experience that way they'll come back so yeah it's worth the extra what 17p it cost or whatever so so yeah it's definitely a little tip there um make sure you package your stuff properly so it doesn't turn up wet and destroyed Boys, I just had an absolute nightmare. Just packaged up all the passes and forgot to put the DVDs in like a prat. Um, so now I need to rip open the box and put the DVDs in somehow. It's like amateur hour sometimes. It really is. Should be ashamed of myself, really. There we go. All packaged up. All packaged up, ready to go. Uh, Monday morning, they'll be it and sent off. Hopefully with a couple more that sell over the next couple of days. Um, as it is Saturday evening now. So Saturday night. Sunday night, hopefully we get some sales. Uh, if not, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, they'll be going out Monday morning. Um, but yeah, pretty successful day. I'm gonna head home now, I think. I think I'm done for the day. Have a little Tommy tidy up for five, 10 minutes, and then and then I head home. But um, yeah, pretty, success, pretty successful day. Some nice little finds earlier on in the, in the video, in the day at those charity shops. Uh, it seems like forever ago now, but it was today. I believe it was today. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I am going to end this video here. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. I really do appreciate every like and every subscriber I do get. So, uh, so yeah, make sure to do that. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.